What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Don Kobe Ward YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be getting into this. Thank you for that intro to today's video, Justin. So today, guys, we are gonna be reviewing the first ever on the market sprayable hand polish. That's right, I said sprayable hand polish. The first one ever, not that you shake up in a bottle and then you pour out and then rub. It is a sprayable application. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So first and foremost, I want to thank you guys for clicking on the video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for all the love and support. If you're new, thank you for hitting that subscribe button and coming and checking us out. I post daily videos. Well, I try to post daily videos. Usually it's like once or twice a week. Lately it's been once a month. But anyways, we're trying now to get back on schedule, doing multiple videos a week. So I want to thank you guys. If you haven't already, like and subscribe and drop a comment down below. We're going to keep growing like we are. I believe we're right under 1,700 subscribers. Trying to get to that 2,000 mark. But today's video is going to be about the new sprayable hand polish that came out from Renegade. I have a few bottles that they sent me that we're gonna test out and see just how good it is. It's not like the usual hand polish that you get in a bottle that you shake, put on a, a pad and then a rub, but you actually spray it out of a sprayable bottle, almost like a wax, so it's actually pretty interesting. Um, you guys are gonna be see first on here, me using it. There's not really any videos out yet of people using this on YouTube, so I'm pretty sure we're the first ones. But we're gonna go ahead and start using it. And as you guys can see, we're gonna be doing it on our new 28 by 16 KG1 forged wheels. The video of me uh, showing these wheels and getting them mounted has not came out yet, but it will be coming out soon. Probably today's Friday. I'll probably drop it on either tomorrow being Saturday or Sunday. But enough talking. Let's go ahead and show these wheels and let's show the spray polish and then you guys can see if it's worth it or not. All right, so these wheels are roughly about a week old. I believe we have had them mounted about last Friday, I believe it was. Yeah, so it's like about a week. So there's some water spots, just normal, normal road grime from driving around for a few days. Like I said, you can see all the water spots. So here's the sprayable hand polish right here. It's the Renegade Easy Red Sprayable Metal Polish. It says easy on, easy off formula. One spray on, two wipe off. These are the 24 ounce bottles. They gave us two of these. It's got the instructions on the back. It says step one, apply Renegade Sprayable Metal Polish to a premium microfiber round pad, towel, or metal surface. Work into the surface thoroughly until a haze develops and let dry for about 30 seconds. The same that you would do for regular hand polish. Step two, use a clean microfiber towel to remove the polish. Pro tip, we recommend, recommend I can't read. We recommend a linear motion when applying or removing the product. So basically, it's like I always preach, you wanna go back and forth like this with the grain. You don't wanna go against it. You will get sorrel marks and scratches in your wheels, so you wanna go with it working it in evenly into the pores of the metal. So like I said, you can see there's multiple water spots. We're gonna see if this is actually worth it. I believe, I wanna say it's like $20 on their website or maybe it's like 21. I know they're running a bunch of discount codes on their website, but I believe this is actually like 20 bucks and it's a pretty big bottle, but it comes with this nozzle and Basically, you just shake it up, all the polish, it'll turn like a white, like chalky color like that. And then we'll come back and we'll spray it, wipe it down with a cotton terry applicator pad. And then we will come back with our clean cotton terry uh, towel and wipe it down. All right, so like I said, we got our sprayable metal polish right here. Give it a nice shake. And then we are going to open up the nozzle and we are going to spray her down. And as you can see, it came out like a white kind of like foam almost. It's actually really cool looking. But now we're going to take our micro applicator pad. This side's dirty, but this side's clean. So we're gonna take this, rub it in, let it sit, and then we're gonna come back and clean it off with that. So 
So like I said, you're gonna wanna really start getting in, rubbing back and forth linear like this with the grain, not like this, against it. You're gonna go with it. You're gonna come back and forth just like this. And it's just like regular metal polish. You're gonna keep working it until it gets really hazy and cloudy. People always ask me, well, how do I know when it's worked in? Well, the polish will start to turn black. You'll see it start to turn really, really black. And that's when you know that you've worked the polish in uh, fully. see it turn black and it got really hazy we took our cotton terry towel you can also use a microfiber we folded it in fours and now we are going to work it back and forth as you can see taking the polish up As you can see, I mean, it's night and day finish. No more water spots on the rim. Came out really nice, really clean. Look at the cap. Uh, overall, I would say that this actually worked a lot better than I thought it did, to be honest. This is pretty much what our front wheel looked like. Had water spots, all kinds of road grime, like you can see on it. Wasn't, I mean, from afar it looks clear, but you can tell and then, like I said, go from that, you go to that. So, I definitely think it is a cool product. And I definitely think it's worth a try. It is reasonably priced. Like I said, I believe it's at like $20, $21 maybe. Like I said, I for sure know it's under $25. I would say it's like 20 or 21. I will have it linked in the description for any of you guys who wanna check it out and go try it for yourself. So as you guys saw, they actually cleaned up really well and I was really actually impressed because I was kind of skeptical. I've been seeing we're Renegade. I don't know if any of you follow them on your Instagram, but I do being a polisher and using their products i was very surprised because i've been seeing them using like test models of it and it was in test stage and i never knew if they were fully going to bring it to market like i know they were trying to bring sprayable compound to the market but i never thought they'd actually bring it to the market 
and it was actually going to be as good as I think it is. I mean, you guys can buy some and try it yourself, but I'm going to tell you right now, I actually think it worked pretty well, and it's not as messy as my... So the problem, it's not that it's not messy. The problem is, is like with these other hand polishes, they're designed to be thicker, and... It just, I feel like sometimes they get everywhere or the little nozzles, the sprayable part on the cap that you spray and squeeze out gets clogged and chunky and then it splat and goes everywhere and it's just a pain in the butt. You get hand polish everywhere or whatever you're working on. I do think this is a more cleaner alternative, but I'll leave it up to you guys if you want to try it out. I'll link it down below in the description. I believe I have a discount code. I think it's Ward 10 or Ward 15. I'll have to check, but I believe I do have a discount code for it. And I also know if you download the Renegade app on your phone right now, you get a 20% discount code. So I will link all that in the description. Uh, don't take my word for it if you guys wanna try it out. Go try it for yourself. I've always based my channel, like I said, off of trying new things, spending my own money and showing you guys. But I definitely think this is a product that is a step in the right way and it's really not priced to bad I was gonna go ahead and show you guys if you watched one of my last videos we finally replaced the crap shocks look at how bad these things rusted only 500 miles one side's not rusted one side has rust all over and that's only 500 miles being on our truck the truck uh, literally doesn't hardly leave the driveway at all so I couldn't believe that, but after a couple times of going back and forth with Striker, we came to an agreement. We got some nice Fox shocks back there, some 2.5s with extensions, but those Fox shocks look so much better than those garbage rusty ones. We got boxes from whenever we sold uh, one of our sets of wheels, because we are a KG1 and a Fury dealer, so that's pretty much going to wrap the video up here thank you if you've made it this far like and subscribe if you're new drop a comment down below turn the post notifications on so you can know when i'm always posting there's no telling i might post a video tomorrow i might post one a month from now you never know so if you want to stay notified or you like the content you're seeing like i said smash that like button drop a comment subscribe and as always i will see you guys in the next one